Welcome, my friends, to this quick video. Um, I wound up getting the Zorin Pro because that comes with support. And you see, this is a touch screen. So the situation that I had was anytime I, t I clicked into a, a typing field, I would have an on-screen keyboard popping up. So I still retain the functionality of uh, full screen zoom, uh, but I turned off the on-screen keyboard that kept popping up and getting in the way of all my stuff all the time. So this is the email I converted it to a PDF and I wanted to share it with you guys so you guys could figure it out. So you go to Zorin Appearance and then you do the screen keyboard button and panel. I think I might have enabled this myself and the fault is nobody but my own. But I used to have this little panel in the top right hand corner. This uh, Zorin uh, uh, appearance thing, right? Interface, screen screen button. You see this, this creates this little keyboard that pops up. But that keyboard kept popping up automatically. So there is that. Uh, let's move on to the, to the other part. Oh, to the second page. So in accessibility, you could do typing and then screen keyboard, you can turn that off too, and that should make it work. Because I had this turned off in accessibility, but it kept popping up the, the stuff automatically anyway uh, that I didn't appreciate. So over here, overlay, screen, button, boom. Turned it off there. So this is uh, this has been a quick tutorial for others out there. And if you're trying to try out Linux like I am, I would recommend uh, getting the Zorin Pro, pay the 50 bucks, pay whatever the $48, and have actually uh, somebody that answers your email and support and gives you such guidance because I would have never figured this out on my own. I needed, I needed the help from uh, these guys over here in order to do it. I've been really enjoying Zorin uh, as I picked, this is kind of like an Ubuntu style, kind of like panel. Joplin is the notes. This is Better Bird. It's like a Thunderbird. Uh, I look up definitions of words in the word book. That, these are all free apps included with the thing. OBS, I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, I haven't gotten the microphone to work in there yet. Um, but so far it's been a really good experience because mostly I'm watching YouTube videos. So, uh, it's very comfortable when you have this kind of setup with your left hand to just like, uh, pick the app that you're, you're switching to. I haven't figured out all the desktops. I haven't figured everything out, but this is a really great positive thing. You could do, oh, dark mode. You could do Zorin connect. You could do you know, Wi-Fi on, Wi-Fi off, Bluetooth on, all this good stuff over here. So overall, this is a really good experience. And I hope you found this video tutorial helpful because searching online for how to fix a Zorin keyboard from popping up, I haven't gotten it because in other places it's called Caribou, something in Caribou 36, some sort of some sort of GUI extension. I couldn't figure it out, but these guys figured it out on their own. And in this email, they told me exactly how to do that. And they even took screenshots. They didn't have to do this. They even took the screenshots and gave this information to me. So now I decided to share it with others. And uh, I, I, the best I could do is recommend uh, Zorin OS, the pro version as being the best OS in regards to actually getting some support on your laptop.